People in big cities don't like to wait around. They're used to living in places where the things that they want are available on demand. That's good when it comes to pizza deliveries, or dry cleaning, or cab service, but not when it comes to electricity. Cities have big problems when too many people demand too much electricity at once. They're called blackouts and brownouts. They're expected to become more common as rising populations and temperatures trigger an explosion in air conditioners and other electric demands. But Doug Staker isn't sweating it. He has a solution tucked neatly away underground. In this New York City parking garage, there's a battery technology that could change the way cities of the world consume power. The concept is simple. During the night, when rates are low and people are asleep, these batteries store up electricity. Then during the day when demand is high and electricity is more expensive, the battery supplements the building's demand for power. Lots of people think the grid just is always there, but they always have to match and move generation in. And, and the problem is, is that has to ramp up and then shut down. So with storage, you could take some of that variable generation that only operates 16 hours out of the day and allow it to operate 24 hours a day. This saves residents money and helps the power company avoid brownouts or worse by reducing stress on the grid. Josh London manages luxury residential buildings in New York City. He says the opportunity is too good to ignore. Imagine like those mountain peaks when you're hitting those high energy usage periods and you just shave that down, that, that's stored. There's thousands of buildings potentially do that. It's the equivalent of a couple of power plants of capacity sitting there ready to be used when needed. This is the potential that Staker and power companies are getting ready to maximize. If enough of these batteries are installed on the same grid, they can act as a virtual power plant when centrally controlled. If utilities could reach out and turn these battery systems on and say, start charging, while all of us are sleeping, we've turned all the lights off, all of our usage down, turn that load on from the battery, allow the delivery through the entire supply chain to get to the batteries, store it there, and optimize it, you'll run a more efficient grid and lower greenhouse gas emissions. Of course, none of this comes cheap initially. But more cities and businesses are getting in on the game. And for the ultimate financial and environmental benefit, just hook up those batteries to solar panels. We're working on designing a way to integrate solar with the storage system right now. Historically, solar has been a tough sell because it's really expensive. There's no way to really ensure that every one of those kilowatts is going to go and get used. With the storage, that problem doesn't exist anymore. Faster, better, and ideally cheaper, just the way cities like it.